Good morning, my YouTube family. How are you all doing today? This is Michelle with Michelle Crochets in Kansas, and I'm going to be reading to you from my devotional book, Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence. Today is September 20, or September 4th. It is the Lord's Day. So we will be reading, let me try to get this a little closer so you can read it. Okay, you notice up here it says September 4. In closeness to me, you are safe. In the intimacy of my presence, you are energized. No matter where you are in the world, you know you belong when you sense my nearness. Ever since the fall, man has experienced a gaping emptiness that only my presence can fill. I designed you for close communication with your Creator. How I enjoyed walking in the garden with Adam and Eve before the evil one deceived them. When you commune with me in the garden of your heart, both you and I are blessed. This is my way of living in the world, through you. Together we will push back the darkness for I am the light of the world. Here are the verses. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. That is Psalm 32, verse 7. And you also are among those who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. That is Romans chapter 1, verse 6. For some reason, it's looking a little fuzzy. <clears throat> then the man and his wife heard the sound of of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? That is Genesis chapter 3, verses 8 and 9. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. That is John chapter 8, verse 12. I thank you all so much for being here, for listening to the devotionals. I find that when I find myself in a dark place, a spiritually dark, I call to God, and I will be the light in that place. I thank God to be for being the light in the dark that shines in the darkness, because it brings up conversations and people like to be near me and those who are interested i guess who don't want to live in darkness uh come towards me and we hold the conversation and i help plant a seed or water the seed that's already been planted in their hearts. 
it's a beautiful thing to be uh, a beacon of light where God dwells in you and you can help others grow spiritually just by talking with them. And that's what I get I out of this because God is always with me and he lives in me and he shines through me and it helps me to live more fully for him and to bring others to him as well. So I thank you all for listening and to the devotional with me. I hope you all have a blessed day. I wanted to let you know that now that I'm done with the uh, wild and free top, I put it away until my husband and I go out. And I have uh, an afghan that I'm working on. I've been working on it since January. Um, and I'm doing it with my crochet guild. A lot of the ladies from the crochet guild are doing this afghan too. Many of them are already done, but they haven't worked on anything else. So anyway, that's uh, what's going on with me. Uh, the Liliana afghan is my primary project right now. I've got a lot of smaller projects in the works also, and a lot that I want to do, but the Liliana is my primary project right now because I've been neglecting it. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I will be back on later today after church. I thank you all for being here, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye.